and their own goals, just like division and labor. So really, the concept of division and labor is saying that everybody has their own goals, or special specific roles that they play. What is this? This specialization increases efficiency and productivity. As each person as each person becomes skilled at either specific task. This idea was popularized by Adam Smith in his book The World of Nations and has had a significant impact on the economic and Thank you. 
society. And um, the collective consciousness informs our sense of belongingness and identity and our yeah and the identity. And the founder of this um, is, uh, is a sociologist called Emily the King, uh, which develops the concept uh, to explain how unique individuals are born together into collective unity like social unity and society. I'm going to use again the process so that we should be able to understand that. Um, the concept is to explain how unique individuals are bound together into collective units like social groups and unique society. And in the examples of collective consciousness, nationalism, gender norms, the intelligence, class consciousness, and group theory. So, The importance of um, uh, collective consciousness is to uh, promote cooperation and reject misunderstanding um, for the conflict between people. Like we uh, have to move our heads, our tongue, our desire, our share our heads, and uh, this is what we unite in the promote cooperation. Um, and also, they form. They reject other denying that he misunderstands it. Uh, for example, um, if Tumbuka is a the dancer is a Tumbuka, so it's Vimbuka, and here we go to the one who is a Which one is a Tumbuka? 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 So, we will be in the future. I hope it's not going to be a good question to ask me to ask you to before I take the stage. Any questions? I have the date before I take the stage. I will be the same before I take the stage. Thank you. In an atmospheric, 
immediately into connected social 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 norms and values, leading to feelings of alienation, helplessness, and the breakdown of social order. This condition can arise due to rapid social changes, weakened social inclusion, or inadequate integration of individuals. Individual aspiration is that unresolved associated with increased dangerous behavior and may impact mental well being and social harmony. So the function of the heart is the function of the society as a whole. 
If anyone who changes values does not function, then it has an impact on society. So, for example, the state provides public education for children. The family of the children pays the taxes, which the state uses for public education. And the children who learn from public education go on to become law abiding working citizens who also pay taxes to the state. So, for example, we have a free education to be primary school education. But then, for that education to be free, somebody has to be paid. In economics, we say that there is no free lunch. Meaning, she may need to say, what happens? Somebody is paid. So this example is just saying that, for example, with the free education, the parents who are working in the government who are doing businesses, they are paying taxes. So those taxes are there to pay for the free education, primary free education that is there. So the government is providing free education, but then this part cannot function alone. The government cannot function alone. We need parents who are working who are earning, who are low abiding citizens to pay their taxes so that we continue the free education. So the education is the part and the children drop out and become criminals. Even in such a situation, the social system adjusts to improve the education and attempts to rehabilitate through jail or other means. So the attempt to rehabilitate the criminals from there to become law abiding and tax payers. So in this example, not free education and not family parents who are paying for the free education. But what happens if the free education that we're receiving is of substandard, and then that is not of good quality or up to par? Then that means the children that will be coming out of your primary school who end up become criminals. So, then we're introducing another part of the social system, which is uh, to help to solve the problem that we have with criminals. So, we're doing this, introducing this punishment, form of jail, so that we have low abiding and tax paying citizens in the future. So, every part of the system is going to is the hospital or any other institution. They have their own roles to play. So each, if one part of the social system is not working, then society formulates a solution so that the society comes come back to a state of equilibrium or to a state of where it's functioning properly. So, Drupal thought that even if social disorders arise, then the society finds ways to restore order and equilibrium through social reform. So, that is on the functionalism theory. So, the concept of division of labor. So, this one. The concept of division of labor focuses on the shift in society from a complex, from a single society to one that is more complex. So Durkheim argues that traditional societies were made up of homogeneous people, or people that were doing the same or similar work. That were more or less the same in terms of values, religious beliefs, and background. So back then, people were very homogeneous. There was no much difference. It would be a village in the old days, they would be depending on their family or hunting, or they would have the same values and beliefs, uh, religion beliefs, religious beliefs. So, right now, we have more different societies which are made up of complex divisions of labor, beliefs, and background. So, this division of labor means the fact that we are to work family, some are there to process what you are producing, some are there to uh, consume, and some are there to market, some are there to to produce different goods aside from the agricultural. So everybody has their own uh, sector in which they are focusing on. 
So for example, we can use it to have a different program. So that is like the concept of being a layer of layer. So the program of being a layer of layer, being a layer of layer, something else, and then a layer of something else. So this applies also in terms of beliefs. We find that there are different beliefs with different people. In terms of tribe, uh, in terms of nationality, races. So Africans have different beliefs from Asians. Asians different from Americans and so on and so forth. So even in the division of labor, we believe that by the work places, people have different areas in which they come to. So we can have uh, somebody dealing with one part of the organization or institution, and other people dealing with another part, and so on and so forth. So generally, the process of division of labor just means that everybody has their own values, beliefs, background, and works very different from others. So we're not homogeneous, but we're heterogeneous. And then the other concept is for the concept of social solidarity. So enemy using in Africa that there are two different kinds of solidarity. Unity among people in society, that holds them together. And these two types are mechanical solidarity and organic solidarity. So the first one, so the definition of social solidarity is Unity, simple terms unity or cohesion. So this is why it puts people together in society. So it can be mechanical or it can be something organic. So for the first one, mechanical solidarity. So this first type of solidarity was present in more traditional agricultural societies. So in these societies, all of the people from the same religion the same culture and give the same task. So they are all similar to one another and that similarity is held them together. So because of the same tribe or because we are in the same class or because we are coming from the same neighborhood, then we have that type of similarity, something that is holding us together or something that is bringing us unity. So this solidarity would have been to share the collective culture. So everybody sharing the same ideas, the same goals, laws, and beliefs. So this was called the mechanism of society because the community functions together as a single machine. So we see this idea of community where people who are doing the same things, who are doing the same things, who are having the same beliefs. But right now we find that everybody has their own beliefs that are intermittent. Um, we believe that even in the same family we have people going to different churches or people attending, um, having different values. We know somebody values school more and we value uh, uh, Somebody is very business more than they're very busy. So those, are, those things are what are happening today. People are having different beliefs, goals, and values. So he took him, uh, turned the, coined the term, the kind of solidarity to refer to us, when people are inspired because of the same beliefs, the same values, the same ideas. But what of nowadays, what if people have no similar beliefs, they don't have similar goals, they don't have similar goals, then that does, mean, does that mean that they don't have any? No, that's why we have the term organic solidarity. So this occurs in what is the industrial type of society, like right now. So in this type of society, there is a division of labor where people are engaged in specialized tasks. And so their interests, values, beliefs, their goals and their norms are different. One may think that if the collective question is no longer what is, what is 
what is measure set together? Then what is well since people have different beliefs or values, then it is because I'm specializing or believing in something else, then that area in which I am not capable of, I depend on somebody else. Or an institution may be specialized in something else. But because we don't have any expertise in another field, then we can stand in another institution. So then that means that we have organic solidarity. Where regardless of your different beliefs and values, you still have unity with the other institution or organization because you are lacking or because you are engaged in different things. So, I hope that's good. The other one is the term of social science. So, this one is about let me you can define sociology as a scientific study of social science or phenomena. So, you must be first to define the term social science. Social facts are things such as institutions, norms, and values, which exist external to the individual and influence the individual. So these values can be uh, special to an institution or special to a tribe or to a race or different people. So for example, social facts such as institutions, statuses, laws, values, laws, such as populations, Organization, distribution, determining ways of acting, thinking, and feeling of people in society. So we are like uh, from Athena. Uh, and Athena has different beliefs from uh, democracy. So then we have different ways of reaching the thinking or acting. So those values or beliefs that you have. So, for example, I come at you to look at the laws of the hospitality. So, that's like a value that they have. Good for their land, they value them so much that it's going to make a good customer. So, that's a value in which you can say that in the social class. And then the other is collective social and variety of systems. So this is collective social is a shared moral force and values that shape the individual consciousness. So society needs this collective social, that is shared values, function, and So this is related to the previous point in social science. So if you uh, society like and I was saying, we are to <coughs> So, the value is to have good hospitality for visitors and strangers. Then, that is a collective question. That is a shared moral code, a shared moral conduct or value. That shape you, that make you unique or give you your identity. I don't like that. So, every you can believe that value for citizens, we should where all members of society have shared goals, norms, and values, and growth, form the basis of integrating principles of society. So, value for citizens is where you have shared goals, norms, and values, and this forms the society, or for you, to form a society, then that means you have some basis that are of particular to your type of people. So this means that before members of society have shared values, then they have similar identities, cooperation, and avoid conflict, and hence the society becomes stable. So this similarity in uh, identities or cooperation, because you have such a sense of similarity, then you're able to know. If I do this and that, then 
should be studied by a current setup from outside of our own life through observation experimentation. So I like psychologists who study why it is this to be a great degree of self Rather, the theory of self says that we should not study the individual but we study what is happening around the individual as a whole. Because um, sociologists explain, Durkheim as a sociologist explain the difference in such a way. He found that different types of suicide were hard and there was a social cause for a social cause. That is, the individual who needs suicide because of the attachment to a discussion from the group of them. So this means that on the theory of suicide, when I say that uh, when I was in the course, uh, we're having this problem like that, but rather we should look at what happened to the society in which they were covered, the attachment, the society in which they were covered for the wide range of attachment, a certain group, for what is happening around the group. Because for a person to commit suicide, it is also the Social or the group in which they are part of that they can inquire as well. So it's not the person who acts, but the person who acts. So continuing with the uh, founders in the field of sociology, we have Karl Marx, after this one we have Max Weber, after that one we have. But I think, yeah, this should be karma and then much better. Then another one, but we're not going to do it that one. So, for karma, he was a German philosopher, economist, political theorist, socialist, journalist, and 